How are we all doing? Just uh, thought I'd do a bit of a blog for you. Um, just going through some bait and how I'm approaching it. I'm on, well, Church Lake at Horton. Um, I think if you're watching this and you probably know what sort of stock of fish is in here, it's absolutely phenomenal. Um, the thing is, they're, uh, they're all swimming around in front of me today in uh, 17 foot of water. So I got a zig out, um, only got down a couple of hours ago. I did a session the other day, but mainly just stopped over to wander around, just trying to get the bearings, find out what's going on. But um, yeah, I'm gonna swim right down the bottom, by the, by the lodge sort of thing. Uh, it's called the slot. Um, they're in the right hand side down there. And uh, yeah, while they're down there, not a lot I can do at the moment, it's not my water. I've got uh, a V I can fish in. So um, there's not a lot I can do about that. But I thought I could run through some bait and like, the baiting approach that I'm gonna do on it. Um, obviously I've got some zigs out at the moment, but um, yeah, I come down here with my, uh, my other faithful triple X, um, just 18 mil boilies. What I'm doing is just pinching them, each one, just pinch them down, get sort of flat baits, so they're gonna sort of waft down and make a nice spread. Because I've had lead around out there, and it's it's just clear silt. I mean, it's really, really late normally, but there's a big clear silt area out there. I think it's just down to the, the, the fact that it's, it's so deep and there's no sort of weed in there at the moment. But what I'm gonna try and do, I'm gonna try and create this sort of bait so it really stinks of fish and uh, a real smelly fish bait. If I had a tin of sardines or something, that'd be in there. But yeah, just crush some baits up. Um, green lip, GLM liquid. Um, unbelievably stinky, gloopy stuff. So I'll have a good old glug of that in there. This will all bind into the actual baits themselves. So I've crumbled them all up a little bit. So it's actually going to bind to them. Um, and the other one, Triple X Bait, bait, bait Booster. Um, another gloopy liquid. Give it a liberal helping of that one. Now, what I'm trying to do is, because they're so deep, I'm trying to pull the fish down because they're not going to, they only come to the bottom to feed. Now, the thermoclines in the water, they're obviously up at the top at the moment because it's sunny. But Feed Stim XP. It's a really thin liquid, so it's going to sort of permeate up and down the water column a little bit more. So, what I've done is I've got a good old glug of that, now I've got some sort of sleepy glug of it. Just give it a good old glug around. That's how I've got no round boilies in like a knees round boil. Now I'm trying to stay away from that. So, chopped up this thing up, give it a good old glug of that. As you can see, that's a pretty clunky, stinky mix. Um, that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to flavour it up with any bits and bobs and hemp particles. These are big carp in it. And bottom line is they boil it at the end of the day. Um, it's crystal clear in it. I've got to try and pull them down. So it zigs out at the moment. But as soon as that sun starts dropping down a little bit and I can, I can see them moving away. But they're right in front of me at the moment. I know they're going to go to the plateau just over there. Because the guy's having a phenomenal session. But this swim... If I can pull them fish down onto that nice silty strip, then, then fantastic. It, it, it screams calm. Only if I can pull them down. Now, I don't know much about the swim. I don't know nothing about the bait really. Just come on there blind and just try and just try and do what I do best and just like fish for fish. A boat at a time. Don't overfeed them. I think I'm going to have like five spoms out and uh, and probably fish one rod on each side of it. But there's not going to be a lot of bait. But I just want to try and get a bite. There's fish been coming up, so. What we do is we get these out later on, let it permeate a bit, but um, yeah, I'll catch you probably tomorrow, and um, we'll have a catch. I'll do a blog right the way through my session at the moment, sort of pretty much until they're sort of spawning. They're spawning on the boat pool, they're spawning on K1, so they're not quite ready on here at the moment. They're not really gathering up, they're just cruising under the surface, um, eating floaters and uh, whatever's on the top, and hopefully my zig, but we'll give it a go. Um, anyway, I'll catch you soon, catch you tomorrow. Right. Ciao.